Hello, welcome back. Problem 6.18 that is taken from Mechanics of Material by Bear and Johnson and addition is 7th. So statement is for the beam and loading shown determine the minimum required with B knowing that for grade of timber used allowable stress is 12 megapascal and allowable shearing stress is A25 kPa. So this you can see this is the beam that is overhanging beam and the loading is shown at point B, C and D. This is the cross section of this beam is rectangular having height is 150 millimeter. So you have to find this width B. So let's start with the solution. So first step in our this problem is that if we remove the support at this point so definitely there will be a reaction force which is RA and if you remove this support so definitely this is point D. So definitely you have a reaction force that is rd so we will find this ra and rd by using equation of equilibrium so what are the equation of equilibrium equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along point about point d is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive okay this is positive so you can see about point d one moment is r a and perpendicular distance is this three that is clockwise so it will be negative the second moment is 2.4 and perpendicular distance is two and this will be counterclockwise so it will be positive the third moment is due to 4.8 and perpendicular distance is one and this is also clock counterclockwise so it will be positive the fourth moment is 7.2 and perpendicular distance is 0 0.5 and that will be negative. So their sum must be equal to 0. So I will write 8 minus Ra into perpendicular distance 3 plus 2.4 into perpendicular distance is 2 plus 4.8 into perpendicular distance is 1 minus 7.2 into perpendicular distance is 0 0.5 and their sum must be equal to 0. So when you solve it, you will get ra will be equal to 2 kilo newton now you have this ra you can find rd by using another equilibrium condition that is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and force upward is positive so ra plus rd minus 2.4 minus 4.8 minus 7.2 is equal to zero so i will write it ra is 2 kilo newton so my plus rd minus 2.4 minus 4.8 minus 7.2 is equal to 0. So when you solve it, you will get Rd will be equal to 12.4 kilo newton. Now you have both Ra and Rd. So we will move towards, we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. For that, I have to take the vertical line from the end of this beam and we will draw a horizontal line that will show the length along the beam x is in meter so shear force is in kilo newton now at point a you can see you have r a which is two kilo newton so let each division is of uh, two kilo newton so two this is four this is 6 etc so moving from point a till b there is no other force so it will remain same so 2 kilo newton will remain same till this point there now at point a you have a load of minus 2.4 so minus 2.4 will bring it to 0.4 so let this is 0 0.4 point 4 so shear force will change from this to this again from b to c the shear force will remain same so it will be this so i will draw a line horizontal line till this point now at point c you have a load of 4.8 kips kilonewton so minus 0 0.4 and minus 4.8 will bring it to minus 5.2 so this is 2 2, 4 and 5, 5.2 will be the here. So you will draw the vertical line. So this is minus 5.2. And again from C to D there is no change. So it will be remain same. And this will remain same till this point. And at point D you have RD which is 12.4. So minus 5.2 plus 12.4 will bring it to 7.2. So 7.2 will be somewhere here. 
okay so I, so shear force will change from this to 7.2 kilo newton and again from d to again next you have a minus 7.2 which will bring it to zero so this is your shear force diagram we will draw the bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram again x will be in meter and you will have moment that will be in kilo newton into meter so first area is this one so this area is equal to 2 multiplied by 1 which is equal to 2 so i will write it you let's say one division is 2 so yeah 1 is 1 this is 2 so at this point you have 2 and you can see that this shear force is a horizontal line so bending moment will be 1 degree higher and the slope will be increasing so this will be the bending moment for the first area this is 2 now second area is this one you can see this is minus 0 0.4 the second area is this one minus 0 0.4 into 1 which will give you minus 0 0.4 so plus 2 minus 0 0.4 will give you 1.6 so at this point you will have 1.6 so let 1 1.6 is here also you can see this is a horizontal line but that is the area is negative so the bending moment will be the first degree line and slope will be decreasing so we will get bending moment like this this will be 1.6 again you can see third area is this one and third area is 5.2 into 1 which will give you minus 5.2 so 1.6 minus 5.2 will give you minus 3.6 1.4 uh, this is 1.6 this will give you 3.4 or 1.4 okay, let me check it this is 5.2 5.24 okay so you will get minus 3.6 so 1 2 3 and 3.6 will be somewhere here so shear force will your bending moment will change from this till this point sorry this point this is minus 3.6 the third area is this one which is 7.2 multiply by 0 0.5 which will give you 3.6 so minus 3.6 plus 3.6 will bring it to zero and you will get the moment uh, bending moment will be this okay so we will now move further and you see from shear force and bending moment diagram force and bending moment diagrams you will get maximum shear force mod is equal to minus 5 point uh, sorry 7.2 kilo newton so 7.2 kilo newton and maximum bending moment is equal to minus 3.6 which is again mod will be equal to 3.6 kilo newton into meter so now first based on bending we will get the bread b so we know that bending allowable bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment divided by section modulus required or minimum section modulus so we will get uh, minimum section modulus will be equal to um, maximum bending moment over allowable bending stress so maximum bending moment is 3.6 into 10 to power 3 and allowable is given in the given data which is 12 megapascal so 12 into 10 to power 6 that will give you s minimum so s minimum after calculation will be equal to 300 into 10 to the power minus 6 cubic meter or in millimeter it will be equal to 300 into 10 to the power 3 cubic millimeter now we know that for rectangular cross section rectangular cross section this s will be equal to 1 over 6 b h square so from here b will be equal to 6 h over h square 
so you can just put the value 6 into 300 multiplied by 10 to power 3 divided by h is 150 millimeters so 150 square so when you solve this you will get b is equal to 80 millimeter but this b is based on bending stress we will solve it for shear force as well for shear stress stress we know that maximum shearing stress for rectangular cross section rectangular section is given as 3 over 2 there is derivation behind this b into h or if i uh, derive it so let this is the cross section of the beam this is total height h clear and this is b there and this let this is the neutral axis so this distance will be equal to h by 2 clear and the half of this will be equal to this distance will be equal to h by 4 so we know that sharing stress is equal to v into q divided by i into t and q is equal to a into y so a is this area and this area is equal to a is equal to b into this height h by 2 so h over 2 and this y or y bar is equal to this h by 4 distance from neutral axis to centroidal that is equal to h by 4 so if you put it so you will get q is equal in this formula q is equal to a into y bar so you will get uh, q is equal to 1 over 8 b into h square now I for rectangular cross section is equal to 1 over 12 B H cube and this thickness T is again equal to B. So you put all the values in the formula. So you will get tau is equal to V is V Q is 1 over 8 B H square I is 1 over 12 b h cube and that is b so when you simplify it you will get it tau is equal to 3 over 2 v over b h that is the same formula that i have written for this rectangular beam clear now we are interested to find b so b will be equal to 3 v over 2 tau h so 3 maximum sharing stress is 7.2 kilonewton so 7.2 into 10 to power 3 divided by 2 and tau is 825 into 10 to power 3 that is given in given data you can i will see show you this is a tau allowable or tau maximum clear into h h is 150 millimeter so 150 into 10 to power 3 will convert into, into meter so when you solve this you will get b is equal to uh, 0.087 meter or height will be equal to 87.3 milli 87.3 87.3 millimeter not height sorry breadth this breadth is 87.3 millimeter now you have two values one is 80 and other one is uh, 87.3 so the required the answer the required value of b is 87.3 millimeter so we will choose the highest one why the reason is that if you put this value of b in section modulus formula that is s is equal to 1 b h square over 6 so when you put h is 150 millimeter and b is 87.5 so it will be 327.375 into 10 to power 3 cubic millimeter and again if you put this s in the formula that is um, maximum divided by allowable stress and you will our stress so you will get stress is equal to maximum bending moment divided by s and when you calculate it will be 10.9 mega 
पास्कल सो यूअर स्ट्रेस विच इज़ टेन पॉइंट नाइन मेगा पास्कल इज लेस दैन इलावेबल विच इज़ ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सिक्स मेगा पास्कल सो दैट्स वाई वी आर चूजिंग दिस वैल्यू ऑफ दिस वैल्यू ऑफ बी ग्रेटर वैल्यू ऑफ बी सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट प्रॉब्लम सिक्स पॉइंट वन एट फ्राम द मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बेर एंड जॉनसन सेवन एडिशन आई होप यू हैव इन्जॉयड दिस वीडियो एंड यू आर लर्निंग फ्राम इट those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching